Hey, what's up guys? It's Saturday and it's a big day as you can see. We received our travel system, our Peg Perego Ipsy travel system in the Onyx color. So what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be unboxing it for you guys. It doesn't say don't use scissors here, so don't pay attention to that. But we'll be showing you the whole process of putting it together. Yep, that's the car seat right there. So this is the Primo Biagio 435 Nido. So pretty much um, from four pounds to 35 pounds, the baby goes in here. Um, let me take out the plastic so you can see it. This is what baby's gonna come home in. Yep, this is it right here. Uh, as you can see, it's the onyx color. Uh, nice black on black, pretty much. This is the rebound bar. Um, this is also acting as a rebound bar. When you install it in the car. Yeah. And then, yeah, so this is the car seat. So we'll put it over here for now. Next we have, this is the toddler seat looks like. Yep, this is the toddler seat right here. If I knew how to unfold it. Wait till oh. you get the, oh. Okay, I'm like, wait till you get the instructions, <laughs> please. I don't read no instructions. You're gonna read the instructions for this and breaking my baby stuff. All right, some more plastic. Next is the car seat base. Pretty hefty, pretty uh, safety oriented. That's all I can say about it. Yeah, because you <laughs> haven't installed it. <laughs> that's why we got it. It's all about the safety. And then the final piece. That's a little bit heavier than I expected. <laughs> this is a stroller. Okay, so we're just opening up the uh, box that came with the stroller attached. So we'll see what's in here. So if you ever plan to get something like this, you can um, know what comes in the box. Be prepared for any hardships that might come along. So you have wheels. wheels. <laughs> So you got one wheel, two wheels, obviously four in total. They're like, they're plastic wheels, right? The, um, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then you have the links, which I'm guessing is for, to put the uh, toddler seat or the car seat on to the stroller. So you don't need, you know, any specific adapters. Let's see what piece comes out next. This looks like, this is the undercarriage. I don't know if people call it that, but that's what I'm gonna call it. Then we have other pieces, other wheels and stuff. Well, I'm not sure why they won't work. Okay, there they go. Two back wheels. Those are some big old wheels. Yes. <laughs> so all terrain pretty much. And then this looks like is this the link piece? Like the um He's just right. making guesses until he gets to the hey, instruction hey. part. Just speak confident. That's all you got to do. Okay, and this looks to be our instructions here. <gasps> yes, we do. <laughs> He's just kidding. <laughs> all right. Let's please, see please do. use instructions when putting these things together. Your children are going to go in it. That's right. Follow instructions, man. Please do. This piece that came in the box with the stroller. These are, these look like to be the brakes. So it's gonna go and attach right on here. There's the clips right here that'll just snap into place. Just like that, once you hear the snap, you're good. And then next, they have you putting on the front wheels. Which obviously are the smaller of the two. Yeah, this longer piece here. And you gotta hear the click to make sure it goes in all the way. There you go. So both clicks. Next, they want you to put on the handle. It's uh, behind you right there. So we're gonna take the handle. It's gonna go out like this. Same deal, clicks. Click. Well, that wasn't the right click, but. <laughs> Make sure they sit seat in place. I don't know if you can see that right there. Make sure it just pops right into place. 
Okay, so you're gonna grab the basket. It's gonna be in this position with this little tab in front here. And then you're gonna, there's some, I don't know if you can see it, if you wanna just show right here, there's a little bar right here. And you can see the different slots. You're just gonna slide these into the slots. I'm not sure if it clicks or what, or maybe that's what these are for to hold it in place. So you're gonna place it in there. And then there's little buttons on the sides here. Let me take this back out so you can see. These little buttons right there. Those buttons. That's where these little, you can probably see it if I do it like that. So just like that, they're gonna go in there. These pictures are not very helpful I'd say. at the moment, so. Very big. Okay, so we un we unlatched these buttons here. And if you see, there's the latches where we originally put it on. These links are gonna go in there. So you slide it into the one button there. And boom, they lock into place. Okay, let me get okay. closer because Yeah, let her get closer anything. and then you can button it back. So you see those two buttons right there where we originally attached? Mm -hmm. This thing slides into place right there. So you just put it over. You put it over the two and then you slide it right into place and you hear a little click. It'll lock into place. Yeah. And that's to hold the basket in place. And you do it on both sides? Yeah, and we just took these buttons off to make it a little bit easier to see because we couldn't really figure it out from the manual. Two brains are better than one. Yep. Boop. Thank you, brother. You're gonna take the back piece of the basket. There's these two buttons here, or knobs, whatever you call them. And you're gonna just stretch it, and it's gonna lock into place. And it's reinforced by um, a little harder plastic feeling material, so it's not gonna rip or anything like that. So don't be afraid to just get it in there. Okay, and there goes your under basket right there. Pretty big. And that's one reason we got it, it's because it's big. It, you know, you can fit a lot of stuff under there. Next, they're gonna have you... Well, how did the big wheels get on? They didn't even tell me to put the big wheels on yet. Okay, so I'm guessing they assume that you're put on the big wheels already. So we're Awkward. <laughs> we're gonna do that. These are little covers. These little covers, they just come straight off. Oh, they came off easier last time. <laughs> come off. Turn it so I can see. Thank you. Just gonna take it. And it's gonna go. Let's make sure we're going in the right one here. We're going in this one right here. And you hear a click. You see it? Mm hmm. Okay, good. So it's going in this hole right here, not this second one. The second one's the break right there. So you're gonna take it, just gonna push it in. And you hear the click. Okay, so now the wheels are still locked on me because it's already it's on the lock position here. It's still locked, you can see right there. Okay, up here is your telescoping handle. So you do that, you can get pretty high. But us being on the shorter side, <laughs> we don't need you know, to do that. <laughs> right here in, the, in my chest, so we'll be operating down there. Okay, so we'll unlock it here. Now you see the wheels will turn for you. It's but you still have the back ones braked. Huh? Oh, okay. Okay, so nice and smooth. Feel like a brand new car. So if we don't want the wheels to move anymore, you can go ahead and hit the lock, and they're not gonna move on yet. They're gonna turn into place and lock. You'll hear the click. Okay, we're gonna break it. And then next, we'll just show you, you want with the toddler seat or you want with the Yeah, I wanna seat? see the toddler seat first. And then, should be. The other way, babe. Oh. You're right. <laughs> and they clip, they clip right in the side, right yep. there. And so I can see. Boom. Perfect. And there goes your toddler seat, and it does recline back. So you can recline it like that. And they're sleeping. You have the shade. And then you I don't can know if it goes back. any further back. No, no, no. That's as you don't want it anymore. Well, I'm just making, you know. And then you can put it up. And then you have this also to help. 
Help their like foot rest. Little, like a little step. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then you can put it back down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Recline it back up. up. So, just for you guys to be able to see. It's right down here. Well, recline it up first. Well, well I'm just going to show you. That little handle right there, you're going to pull it. And then just push it up. Very simple. Very clean. Just easy. Look at all that space. Easy maneuvering. Space. Shut it. And it's also supposed to be able to close up with the toddler seat on. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, so after some manly finagling, you that know. That sounds so weird. <laughs> why you got to say that? I'm sorry. So after, you know, just going through it, just looking around, trying to figure it out, trying to look in the manual. It was in the manual, it's just a little hard to it's tell. It's hidden. Yeah, it was a little hard to tell. It was, um, let me just find it for you really quick. Because there's no words in this manual. Yeah, it's just pictures, so you kind of got to figure it out on your own. So they show you right here, there's these two little latches, which I'll show you on the actual stroller. You push those up, and then you fold it over. So I'll show you that now. I'm gonna keep the wheels locked so we can just do everything in one one swoop. So the latches are right there. That's one, that's the other. So they're kind of hidden so you don't kind of like hit it by accident or anything. That's what I'm figuring. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your two, two fingers, you're gonna find it, pull up, and then over. And that folds the toddler seat. Right, and then to close it, over here, I'm at an odd angle right now, but I'm gonna do it for you right here. So you fold this over, this is like your safety, so you don't do anything by accident. You grab it, one hand, and then you fold over, and in one swoop, you got it. You hear the click, it stands on its own. That's what the little knobs on the bottom here are for, to help it stand. Yep, and that's it. And then when you're ready to use it, which side is it on? It's on this side. Right there, that release bar, that locks it. You release that, as you can see, and it comes open. Obviously, I wasn't holding it from the right <laughs> side. Yeah. So, and then you just and fold you this just open. Fold that over. And everything you'll hear clicks when they lock into place. And that's your toddler seat. Instructions. Read pictures. the instructions. It's pictures, it's not instructions. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like playing Pictionary. Please look at the instructions. <laughs> on, you, on the links you can see another one and a two and then tell you what's correct and what's wrong by pictures. No words. We don't believe in words here. So, what am I reading for? I'm playing Pictionary. Let's see. We'll be right back. Okay. Okay guys, so to put these links on, you're going to move this. See, so you're gonna hit these two. There's one on each side. You're gonna hit them. Your two thumbs. Put it. Lock it right there. And one, when it's facing you, one is gonna go on this side. So that's my right side. Two is gonna go on this side. It's my left side. So we're gonna try and put it in place here. So it just goes in here. And it clicks like oh, everything cool. else. Can I see the other side? So that's before. Uh huh. And then after, you're can you take angle it. it? Angle it a little bit so they can see. Yeah. So now it's gonna slide right into place. Perfect. Boom. Okay. You know it's an Italian car seat. Bada beam, bada boom. You know. What oh I'm my saying? gosh. For my Italian friends and family. Hi. You have none. I do have some. Okay. And then it depends on what orientation you want to put the baby. Most women, mothers, one. And dads. Have, and dads want to have the baby facing them. So you go ahead and put the seat on like that, click, and then you're done. So these, you lift lift those up on both sides, and you pick it right up. So one day your baby's a newborn, the next day your baby is a toddler, bada beam, bada boom. You know, you get it done. Clicks, same thing, these are a little bit different, these are buttons because you know they're older, you're older, everybody's older. You can also flip it around this way if you want to have a little toddler facing you. Yes, I do. Okay, just like that. And then you drop them down a little bit if you want them to lay down, take a little nap. You know, you're done. 
You unlock it. You lock this side. Don't forget the locks. There's two of them. The brakes and the front wheel locks. And then we out. We out of here. We're cruising. We're cruising to Disney. We're out. You're out of control. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it. The Peg Perego, the Ipsy travel system, so that includes the car seat, toddler seat, the stroller, and one car base. So if you have two vehicles, you obviously want to put another one of these on your registry so that you can get the second one for your second car, for your husband's car, because you know, wives take priority. That's so. right, I'm glad you know. <laughs> So that's it. If you guys have any questions, comments, anything, concerns, um, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure you subscribe and like so you can see more content like this. And um, moving forward, next time you see this, it'll probably be us in Disney. It'll hopefully be for Noelle's birthday. Yes. Um, which you guys should know by now. If you don't know Noelle, go check out her last video when she got um, dedicated at church. So we'll see you guys later and catch you in the next one. Peace out.